Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I just finished the tutorial on how to do this, um, this little stacked, um, I don't know, I guess it's just like a, I forget what you call these, <laughs> where you, st you layer them and it's just, you know, one, one layer after another and you get this cute little, this cute little dealy thing. I know, I'm losing my mind here. Um, so the reason why there is a part two of this design space is I, when I made this, first of all, I made it on the small side. And the reason why I did that, and sorry, like I want my my camera to focus, um, is that, let me put this aside. Everything cut out perfectly, except for the two with the words. So you can kind of see it was too thin too thin, too small. And so I wanted to show you like, sometimes this is gonna happen. I didn't, I guess when I was designing it in my head, you know, it was gonna be a big sign, but I didn't wanna waste all that paper to do this project <laughs> to show you. And what I wanted to show you was like, um, why we wanted to use the stencils, but this ended up being so small and it didn't cut well that I couldn't even show you that because look at, it kind of just ripped through. So I wanted to show you, I wanted part two of design space because I still wanna use this stencil font, but show you some alternatives. So we're gonna cut, recut just these two. I'm gonna keep the size at five inches. So it's just gonna be, cause I don't wanna cut everything over at five inches or you know, at a bigger size, but this is gonna be cute. We're gonna layer it. We're gonna add the foam tape in between so that you get the layers and it's gonna pop out. And it's just, it's a really, really cute little design. So, and I'll flip through the, um, so that you can see, you know, each one gets smaller so that you see all the colors will shine through. And so these are all the layers. Look at this layer is like nothing. And then this one's just a full sheet. So, all right. So I wanted to just show you this view so you can see the issues and how I'm gonna personally fix it for myself. I mean, the easiest fix is make this big enough that the font size, this this font type won't matter. And you can do that by making it probably eight by eight or maybe 12 by 12, or in this case, 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? All right, so I'm gonna flip the cameras. So we're gonna go back to design space so that I can show you. <laughs> it's all big, okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move this over here. All right, so we are back to design space. And while we're, while I'm getting situated and sitting my butt back down. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support I can possibly get. And that's likes, shares, comments, subscribing, all that good stuff. Okay, let's go back. So. I got myself back to design space where I got rid of the words here, right? We're gonna go back to text and it's still Wednesday stencil. I, I think it's a cute, cute font. This time though, I'm just gonna put cedar wood. Okay. So that it's not so small. I'm gonna make it as big as I can so I don't have the issue. Make it a little bit smaller. And I wonder, you know what? Do we have the option of... We do have the option. Look how cute this is. Okay, so we have the option of all caps um, all caps will still give us an issue with the D and the A and the, uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with the lowercase. Okay. So here's cedar wood. I'm making it really, really big. Right. And I'm going to put love like a heart instead of the word love. So I'm really, I'm making this work for me because I'm making it five inches by five inches. So I sort of just wanted to show you, you know, what you can do, like something like this, love, and then like a little hyphen or a comma, 
Um, I'm probably going to do a hyphen only because I feel like the comma, um, what do I want? I want a shape. I'm going to do a little rectangle. So love cedar wood. And maybe I'll unlock that and stretch it out. So it looks like that. Love cedar wood. Okay. Maybe make this a little bit smaller. Something like something like that. Okay. Um do I love the way that looks? It's okay. Okay. Now we still need to, I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to zoom in because we still need to work on a couple letters, right? We need to work on the O's because the O's, I need to connect that white and make it open like the A so that the middle part doesn't fall out. Now my other option is, you know what? Um, I'm going to get rid of these little lines because that's what made it so difficult for me to cut. So let me, um, let's weld this thing so that we can contour out all these little lines. Okay. Cause that was part of the problem why it was so thin and it was messing up my cut. So I'm going to go to contour. And I'm going to hide all, but I'm going to keep my O. Contour. What did I do? <laughs> I'm going to show all. What was I thinking? Okay, I should not have. Oh, I don't know why I did hide all. Um, oh, I know why, because I wanted to get. Okay, so I'm going to click on these individual things. Why is it? Hold on. Okay, here's show all. I'm going to get rid of these little lines on the inside. They are so cute, but it was really ruining my design. So if you make this big enough, I think you'll be okay. But if you're like me and you want to make it small, then you're not going to be okay. What happened here? I hate doing this because I can never click on the right thing. It drives me insane. Did I get everything? Can never tell. <laughs> All right, let's exit. I feel like I did not get everything. Ah! <laughs> Let me go back to contour for crying out loud. Okay. It's one of the things that I hate about the contour feature because the contour feature is fabulous, but to actually isolate some of these pieces, it's so hard to do sometimes. It drives me insane. Okay, what? Like, I can't get that piece right there. Okay. No. I need that big O. All right, let's see if I have it this time. Okay. So I have it this time. So you see how this is open. So this middle part of the D is going to stay, but this O is just going to be this white in the middle. It's not connected to anything. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring in, I'm going to do this rounded one, the rounded corners, and I'm going to unlock the shape so that I can make it way thinner. Maybe a little bit thicker. Okay. So I'm going to cut into this O. I think that's the only thing that we need to do is cut into the O. So slice. And I'm not going to cut into this O so that we have a difference so that you can see what that looks like. Okay. 
So pretty much what you need to do is for anything that has an insert, like an inside piece to the letter, you need to have a space so that the white can connect to the outside. So right now, I'm gonna delete all this stuff and hopefully I can show you a better example. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we need to put this in here. Um, let's do this one at a time. So let's move kind of like what we did last time, right? We need these two to be grouped together and aligned so that we're gonna slice out of the same place. So center it, and I'm gonna group it for now. And these two little guys, I'm going to weld so that they stay together, okay? And I'm gonna put it in here. What is going on? Okay, I wanna bring this over here. And I'm going to align center horizontal i want it kind of i want it in the middle okay and i'm just gonna move this well let's see where this fits arrange send to the front so we can see i can align these two things too align center horizontally and see okay I'm going to move the little heart up just a little bit to give it some more space. And I'm going to do it like that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, just to make it easier on myself, the heart and the word cedar wood, and I'm going to weld it together so that it's one piece. So that I'm going to slice out the words, the sentiment, with the white and then the red, okay? So now that this is grouped together, I'm going to grab this welded area and the white and I'm gonna slice. And as soon as that slices, I'm then gonna grab the words again, and from my red, I'm going to slice. So now what this is going to look like is this. So the colors are gonna come through. And let me move that to the front. So it's gonna be white and these colors are gonna come through from behind, okay? All right, we're gonna make this. I'm gonna show you the difference between what happens when you don't slice through, um, when you don't slice through and when you do, what happens to that middle piece. Um, all right, so I will see you in about 10 minutes or just click on the next video. <laughs> all right, thanks guys.